so one thing that I really got into once I started really kind of obsessing over the lawn was stripes and making stripes and making different patterns of stripes. It really just kind of took me back to going to baseball games and just seeing the awesome patterns on TV and at the field when you're there uh, in the outfield and sometimes even in the infield. And just knowing that I could do something similar to that here at home just made lawn care that much more fun for me. So last year I went ahead and built a striping kit for my Time Master and that worked out really well and I had a lot of fun with it and I still have it and I still use it every once in a while um, when I want to put stripes in the backyard. Now in the front yard I have the Greens Master which has a, a big roller drum on the on the back side of it and you have no choice with that you're gonna get stripes regardless but I wanted to go ahead and kind of up my game a little bit with the striping kit. Let me show you why, let me show you what I did and let me show you how I did it. Let's get started. Now this is the homemade piece that I put together last year. It's really just three inch PVC caps as a metal metal pipe going through it with some threads on the end, caps on there, a couple of brackets, and then I just use these uh, clevis pins and these hitch pins to connect it. And that worked fine and it does really well. I'm gonna go a little more in detail on this in another video because I wanna compare it with something that I just got. So I went ahead and I bought the Checkmate striping kit from Big League Lawns to attach to my Toro Time Master. An upgrade for sure from the DIY kit that I made for several reasons, but there was one thing about both of these kits, particularly the Big League Lawns kit, that I just didn't like and I wasn't going to live with. And that was the way it connects to the mower. I want to be able to remove it as fast as I need to, whenever I want, without much hassle, and there just wasn't a way to do that. Now, Big League Lawns makes quick connect systems and extra pieces and kits for bigger mowers, like riding mowers and things like that, but they, they don't make them for smaller mowers like the Time Master and you know Toro Recyclers and Honda mowers. They don't make quick connect kits for those sized mowers. So I reached out to them, just to make sure, they said, no, we don't. And I said, okay, I'm gonna make my own. So I wanna show you how I made it, what I did, and how it works. So I went over to the Home Depot and I got this flat steel bar. Uh, I think it was three feet long, but it's inch and a half wide, and it's a quarter inch thick. So I took that because it's about the same width of the actual uh, bracket that comes with the big league kit. Then from there all I did was come to the mower and just kind of hold it up to the, the part of the frame here where you attach the, the big league bracket to the frame and I just kind of eyeballed how far I would need to be able to have easy access from the other side and be able to connect this. So once I did that I went ahead and made a cut and then in the instructions uh, to connect this to your mower, they tell you that you need to drill the hole in the side of the frame here that already exists. They just want you to open up a little bit bigger to 3 8 So I went ahead and did that because this is still the hardware that came with the big league kit and it's the same connection that needs to be made here. So I knew I needed 3 8 anyway. So I went ahead and drilled 3 8 holes in the um, steel bar, just two on each side, and then I was able to attach it to the mower with Big Leaks hardware. So that's done. And then I went ahead and did another 3 8 inch hole here, and that was able to allow me to attach this clevis pin to hold it on, and now I have an easy quick connect fitting, and I can pull that off no problem. So super easy, makes makes life a lot easier when you don't want to run the roller. There are times where I just don't care to stripe 
and being able to have the option just makes it that much easier. Now in my excitement to show you this setup, I didn't go ahead and um, trim the excess off of here. Uh, this is a universal, I think it's like two inches long and then it's a 3 h inch clevis pin. So it gives you a lot of options depending on how wide you need to go. But for my case, I just need it to here obviously. And so I'll just go ahead and cut the rest of this off on both sides and just kind of clean that up a little bit. Not a huge deal, but it's just something I think will make it look a little bit nicer. And it won't take me but a few minutes to do that. So that's really it. That's the quick connect system. And it's something that you can do at home. I think all total in parts, I'm maybe like 10 or $12 to do that. And if you're investing in something like this, which is kind of overpriced in my opinion, um, but it does perform really well. I took it out once so far and I was pretty impressed with the results. There's lots of videos on these and how to put them together and how to use them. I don't want to do uh, really an in-depth video of how it goes together, but I will do a video on how it stripes and I can just tell you already that the other videos and, and even my video won't even really do it justice. It looks way better in person and it's, it's pretty impressive. So wanted to show you the quick connect fitting there. It was really easy to do and it's something that you can do as well to just give you the option to take it off when you don't need it without having to go through the hassle of lifting this up, sticking a wrench in there to hold the, the nut and then pulling off this which is an allen fitting by the way all right well i think that's going to go ahead and wrap it up i think i covered everything i about wanted to cover there and just show you kind of how that went together and how it works i'm pretty pleased with how it turned out honestly i think it kind of fits in very well and uh, it will make life a lot easier when i don't want to run the striping kit when i mow if i just want to do a quick mow don't really care for stripes i'm not going to try and be that precise just want to get it done i can pull that off and then at times when I want to really show off and put in some really cool stripes, I can put that on very easily and it will just be better, I think. So I'll put a little bit more information. Maybe I'll make a diagram or something and put it in a link in the comment section below and give you just a little bit more detail that way. But if you have any questions at all about how I did this or what parts I used, reach out to me in the comment section and if you have any other questions or if you've done anything similar yourself, let me know. I'd love to hear how you did it. Maybe there's some ways that I can improve this as well. So with that, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.